This Power BI data flow is scheduled to refresh every day at 5 p.m. If I go to my refresh settings, I can only see these options. My requirement is to skip a particular date from the refresh schedule. For example, I don't want to refresh on first date of every month. In this video, we are going to solve this issue for Power BI data flows. So without a further ado, let's get into it. All right, I am inside my Power BI desktop. And first of all, I will click on Get Data and select Data Flow. From this Workspaces option, select the workspace where I created the required data flow. Since I have only one table, I will select and click on Transform Data. This is my data from the data flow. Here, open the Advanced Editor and copy this complete M code. Now I will go back to my Power BI workspace and edit my existing data flow. Here I will click on Get Data. Sources Blank Query and then paste the copy code. This way, it is referencing the same data flow in the another query. The important thing here is to not to bind this with any gateway, because it should be only dependent on this previous query. Click on Next. It will ask you to configure the credentials. Since it is data flow, you don't need to do anything. Just click on Connect. If required, you can rename this query and keep an appropriate name. Here, I need to disable the refresh for this query. Next, Select the orders query and open its advanced editor. Now, I need to modify this M code. Basically, I am going add a condition which will compare the given date with the current date. So I will add this step. For example, I don't want to refresh for this date. So it will validate if this date is the date the current date. When this data flow is going to refresh, then it should return the old orders, else it should continue with this. This I will change to final, which is my last step in this query. All right. With this setup, I can validate if it is working or not. Later, I will change this a dynamic date. Currently, I have configured to skip the refresh for today. Now, let me add additional row to my Excel and see what happens once we refresh it. For this demo, I am adding this additional row. I will save this file, go back to my data flow, and will refresh this query. As that you can see, it is not loading that additional row because I have configured to skip today's refresh. Let me change it some other date and see. And here we go. It is now loading that additional row. It means our configuration is working. And now I can set a dynamic date. For example, I don't want to refresh for first of every month. So I can use this function and save my data flow. This configuration can be very useful for your Power BI projects. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. Post your feedback and suggestions in comment box.